guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, before I get into today's video, do note that I have a giveaway going on right now. I will post the link down below so that you can find it and enter it. Um, today's video is going to be a drugstore haul. I tend to shop when I'm stressed out and buying high-end things has started to take its toll on my um, very small pocketbook. So I am um, the past couple of weeks I have been going to more drugstores, looking for coupons. Um, I was inspired by Tati's video a couple weeks ago for free makeup. While I didn't find any free makeup, unfortunately, I did find a few good deals. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, just keep watching. So the first place I went was Rite Aid. And I went because they had these on sale. These are the Garnier Whole Blends. I got green apple and green tea shampoo and conditioner and they were two for seven on sale. And then I, um, I had a $2 off coupon. So I got those, they were about $5 for the two bottles, which I don't think is too bad. I had a sample of them and I liked it well enough. So I got that. And then they were also doing buy one, get one 50% off of Wet n Wild. So I found the foundation that everybody has been wanting, the Photo Focus Foundation in Porcelain. And I really do like this, I think. What am I saying? Sorry, I got flustered. I'm here in my office. Um, grading but I'm taking a break to film and some random person pulled into my parking lot and just kind of parked and stared at me. So I was, I stopped filming and was trying to figure out what they were doing. Um, they were picking up somebody that was in a different building. So I apologize for that, for being distracted. So I'm really excited to try this foundation. I have not tried it because of, um, my skin has like freaked out this past week and it's been like super dry and I have this red patch here and I don't know what's going on. It's kind of stinging, but it's like super dry and I have a couple on the back of my neck and I don't know what is going on with my skin. So I haven't tried any new foundations or any new products on my face. I've been sticking mostly with Clinique because I know um, it's gentle and will keep my skin from like freaking out anymore foundation wise. Um, and then I've been using like argan oil on it. Right now I have argan oil and like really thick moisturizer and I've been putting Aquaphor on my skin trying to desperately hydrate it. I don't know what's going on. So I am so excited to try this and as soon as my skin quits freaking out, I will be trying it and I will let you know. I will be updating um, my foundation journey because I really need to find a new one that I like as well as my old one. I also got the contouring palette because, you know, they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I wanted to get something that was close to the foundation. So it's in Dolce de Leche. Um, and you get nothing new. You guys have seen this before. So I'm not going to swatch those, but that's what I got. Um, I also had a coupon for $2 off the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Uh, so I did get this. This is what it looks like inside and then you open it up. I have not opened it and there is the um, let's See if you can see it. It's not wanting to focus. There you go um, Underneath the seal is the cushion So when my skin is not freaking out I am excited to try this as well because these were buy one get one 50% off and I decided to get um, I had a friend who was mentioning that she wanted this Maybelline palette so I got her this um, palette for her because I knew she wanted it. And I looked at the rose one and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And then I was like, it's almost exactly like the Naked palette. And I already have a dupe with the Naked palette from BoxyCharm. So I got her the 24 karat nudes. I'm not gonna open it obviously since I'm giving it away, but um, I'm gonna give that to her before this video is filmed. So no worries there. Um, and then when I was at the when I was just kind of wandering around. I saw this and it was $2, so I decided to get it. It is the LA Colors Day to Night palette. And I thought, well, heck, for $2, that is not a bad deal whatsoever. So this is what it looks like. There's 
some really nice colors in there and they actually were decently pigmented when I looked them up like the shimmers I swatched a couple of them before of course now they don't want to swatch nearly as good as what I had so that is this one right here in the center um, if you can see it on my skin it's right there um, let's do a darker one that might be helpful um, so here's a darker one So pretty decent pigmentation for a $2 palette. Um, anyway, I was excited to try it for $2 because that's something affordable to try out. I also was at one of our local stores um, and they had all of their color cosmetics were buy one, get one, 50% off. So I decided to try some things that I heard a lot about or things that um, I hadn't tried before. So this is another Maybelline, which is kind of funny. This is the Vivid Matte Liquid. Um, and though it says it's matte, it does not dry down as matte. It's more of like the satin, um, from ColourPop, as far as I can tell, than anything else. That's what it looks like. And it will basically be that same color for the whole t time you wear it. It doesn't really have a lot of staying power, but it's, it is pretty. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite, but buy one, get one half price was not too bad. I got that in conjunction with the Milani. This is the T Rose Powder Blush. Um, and actually, people talk about how excited they were about this, and I'm not too excited about it. I mean, obviously, because of my skin problem, I haven't worn it, but oh my gosh, I just have a whole bunch of flaking all over my pants now from it, because it's very flaky. Um, so uh, I'm excited to try it. Hopefully I won't be sitting when I try it so that it doesn't get all over my clothes anymore. And then I picked up both of the butter blushes from Physicians Formula. So this one is in Natural Glow. And I finally understand what everybody's talking about with that scent. It does smell nice. Um, and I really wanted to try these. But especially since these have a scent to them, I did not want to try them whatsoever. So this is this slightly grayer one this is a plum rose and they are really really light um i don't even know if you can really see that um as i've seen like all of the other comments on these is that if you're darker skin you would not be able to wear these and i definitely definitely agree with that because they barely show up on my skin tone and i am deathly pale um so beware of that. Um, the Maybelline does kind of tend to stain just a little bit, so do keep that in mind if you decide to go for it. And the last store I went to was Walmart, and I actually was looking for the Flower Beauty um, highlighting trio that I've seen online, because I don't want to order a whole bunch online because I don't know, one, if I'll like it, um, and then I'd have to send it back and I've had so much problems with online ordering um, If you watch my Too Faced video and you saw me swatching my melteds And I was like, I don't know if this is right They're all really weird and some of them were really runny and inconsistent I contacted Too Faced and they basically told me if I wanted to pay to send them back That they would refund my money But the cost of shipping them back would have been more than what I paid because They were on sale So I was really disgusted with them and I wanted to know if that was normal or what was going on and they totally ignored me and I don't think I will ever order from Too Faced again. I was just set to put in another order too because they sent 20% off and um, they also had like all their birthday deals and I was like, if you treat me this poorly because I think something's wrong with your formula and you don't even acknowledge that I asked a question about it, um, yeah, I'm not ordering from you again. Um, so I'm leery of ordering online, especially coupled with my Ulta drama. I've had way too much drama with makeup. Um, so the Walmart that I went to said it was supposed to have it. They don't even have a flower beauty section. So I've been to two Walmarts and I hate going to Walmart. Um, if you like Walmart, I'm sorry. I just don't like Walmart. There's too many people. It's too disorganized. It makes me a little crazy. Um, so I did get a couple of exclusives that they only sell at 
Walmart though, and that is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector. I got the peach one for um, uh, dark circles, there we go, and then the green one for redness. They're very cute. Um, I'm not going to open them though because until this goes away, I don't want to um, open any new products and I, that's something that would dry out. At least I think it probably would. So I'm waiting on to open those. But then I also got this. This is the Hard Candy Metallic Mousse Lip Color Set. I thought it was so cute. And this is in the color Queen of Hearts. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, it has a mirror. I didn't even notice it had a mirror. Um, so I'm going to open it up really fast and see if I can look at it. I think it has a liner in it too. And this was six bucks, so not a bad deal. Let's see if I can get it out. You think that it would be easy to get out, right? Hang on. Okay, so it appears to only be the liquid lipstick, but that's okay. Um, so this is what the applicator looks like. Let's swatch it. Oh, it's really, really pretty. Um, if I wasn't wearing lipstick already that I really love, I would um, switch out right now, but that's what it looks like. Ooh. Um, Super excited to wear that. That might have to replace one of my other uh, liquid lipsticks in my 30 and 30 um, thing that I'm working through. Today I am wearing Kat Von D and Fluff. When they put it up, I immediately got it because I have been waiting for it to be released by itself. And then the last thing I got um, from the drugstore are these new masks from Garnier. They are Moisture Balm sheet masks. And this one is the super hydrating mask um, with pomegranate and pomegranate extract and hyaluronic acid. And this one is the super hydrating mask that's soothing, and it has chamomile and um, or chamomile and hyaluronic acid. So I decided to pick these up because they were two fifty, and like I said, my skin has been just a little insane lately. So I'm excited to try those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Um, I have a big giveaway coming up too. It might be going up before this actually. So look for that too. I, if it is up, I will link it in the description box. Um, have you gotten anything from the drugstore lately that you would recommend? If so, let me know and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.